Welcome back to Advertising Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're talking about advertising with experts from around the country. And today we're in Memphis, Tennessee with Rafi Chowdhury from Chowdhury's Digital. And Rafi, welcome to our conversation today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you and to learn a lot more about you. So why don't we start with you sharing how you get started in the marketing and advertising industry? I got started back in 2014, shortly after graduating college. Um, I was doing a lot of marketing and advertising for my own Facebook page, Twitter pages. I built my own website, personal website. And pretty soon I realized some of my friends in the business space were curious. How did I get so many followers on Twitter? How did I end up getting so many followers on uh, my Facebook page, Instagram, things like that? And so I started like that. I actually reached out to a couple of business friends of mine in the business space. And I said, hey, would you be interested if I did this for you? I just want to try and see if I can do it for you as well. Pretty soon I realized there was a lot of demand from local businesses just to get the word out via social media, which was still not as big of a thing at that point for business purposes. And so that's kind of how I got uh, got started. I picked up my first few clients just by helping out some friends. Um, It sort of spread by word of mouth. And then after that, once I realized there was a need for this service, I started hitting up local businesses and just asking them, hey, would I be able to do this for you guys? If I can get you some traffic and some customers through the door, that's great. You can give me some money and you can pay me for it. But if not, no worries at all. Consider it just a free trial sort of type of thing. And that's how I got my foot in the door initially. Well, that's excellent because really the fact that you were so successful early really showed you that you had the tools needed that these companies would want. And obviously, it's led you to the the real basis of your agency. So right now, what are you doing with your clients to help them get more notice and get more leads and really have that attractiveness to prospects? Sure. So we offer more so SEO services these days. A lot of local businesses do an excellent job of providing the service or the product that they're selling, Um, but they're not oftentimes getting noticed, especially in this highly competitive market currently. So that's who I work with primarily is just small business owners um, that like, you know, the mom and pop shops that may not know what a Google local business listing is, or they may not have theirs updated. They sometimes don't understand how to do local targeting for audiences on Facebook. A lot of them don't even have some other um, social media accounts. Like they don't have a LinkedIn page. They're not understanding the value that LinkedIn might bring to connect with uh, other business professionals. So a lot of it is just spent kind of educating them on these things. A lot of it is spent on helping them set up a WordPress website, a blog, um, educating them on the, on the value of content marketing, educating them on the value of doing video marketing as well, because a lot of you know content nowadays is just video based. So it's a lot of education. It's a lot of just basic setups, such as your website, your social media pages, helping them optimize the website for the keywords they're searching for. And a lot of it is also kind of helping the business with their um, LinkedIn profile and just helping them to connect with other business professionals, especially if they're in the B2B selling space. Um, we do focus a little bit also on Um, The PR side of it, so just helping people connect with um, the local media. Like if they're throwing out an awesome, cool new event, just teaching them how to reach out to editors, how to craft a short um, email to let them know what's going on and to pitch the media. Connecting with um, the editors of publications, things of that nature is, is mostly our focus these days. Well, it really sounds like you have a great plan for these companies something that is easy for them to do, but yet really important with your guidance to make sure that they are getting the content out there, but also the back end pieces that will make Google happy and attractive and really get them the results that they're looking for. So Rafi, we thank you so much for joining us and sharing what you have going on with your agency today. Thank you so much again for having me. And thank you all for joining us as well. Rafi brings up some great points. You really need content on a regular basis for Google to notice you, for people in your community to notice you, for really to get out there with telling your story and getting information out to people that you feel is valuable. 
So there's more information about everything Rafi's doing here on Daily Every, so please check that out. But go and have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Advertising Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.